Okay, here's another one of my goofy videos. I can't believe I hadn't thought of doing this yet, but I've got an extended range. CDV700 here with the uh, different type of detector tube, the Eon uh, detector tube that has a smaller inside detector uh, tube is a lot smaller than the standard CDV700 tube. These were issued as kits. It came with the tube and a sticker. The chain would change the range. It was would uh, multiply it by a factor of 10. So on the 700, when you put the sticker on it, the the one range would be 10, the 10 would be 100, the 100 would be 1,000. And uh, uh, all you'd have to do is put this tube in and put that sticker on, and it would multiply the detection range of the 700 by 10. They came in this kit box like this, and with an instruction sheet. And uh, uh, Dr. Frame at uh, Oak Ridge Associated Universities sent me this one. Uh, thanks, Dr. Frame, several years ago. And I've got two 700s here. I've got one that has had the, the uh, conversion done to it, which is just has the Eon tube inside of it and the sticker put on it. And this is a regular ENI 700 uh, 6B. How about my? They're, they haven't been calibrated, but they're fairly close to my calibrated instrument, so it's good enough. I didn't want to dig out a calibrated one. But I'm using my turn and bank indicator again. My aircraft turn and bank indicator. I'll put this on the unconverted CDV700 with the standard tube in it. And you can see that it'll rate about 10 uh, MR an hour, setting it right on top of the Pro. I got a speaker on each meter. See, it'll come up to it's set on the times 100 range right now, and it's coming up to 0.1, which is 10 mR an hour, and it'll settle in about there. Maybe a little higher, a little lower. I'm gonna take that off. Push this off to the side. And this extender range is on the times 100 scale here with the Eon tube in it. I'll show you the tube, how it looks inside of the probe. You can see it in there. You see the cage and the small little. Uh, this, this tube is so much smaller, it, the detecting volume is uh, greatly reduced, so it in fact extends the range by 10. So. And put that on there, and we'll go ahead and put the turn and bank on here where it was 10 over here on times 100. Let's see what it is on times 100 here. See, so there's not the clicks are nearly as high because actually, you know, this is just the sticker. The CDV 700 is still, you know, adjusted to that range of times 10. But the tube adjusts for the volume. It's kind of flickering around there, but it's averaging about 10. It depends on where I put it. Okay, I'll, hopefully it'll show up in the video. But I set it there. It settles in about 10 on times 100 on this one. So we'll go ahead and turn this one off. And we'll bring our other one over here. The one with the 700 tube in it. We'll take, turn it off. Take the tube out of it. This has got a 6993 tube in it. It's an Anton tube because this uh, ENI did not have a tube with it. When I got it, we take the Eon tube, plug it in, put the probe housing back over it. I'm not going to tighten it all the way down, I'll just start it. That's all the way down. Okay, we'll turn it back on. And remember if we had our sticker on here, times 10 is now times 100. So we'll put it up to the times 100, times 10, whatever. Turn this one up. And remember this one was reading on the times 100 scale before it was reading 10. No stupid meter won't work probably. Here it goes. Let's settle in. So all I did was change the tube, and now since it has an adjusted scale of times 100, if I would put the sticker on there, 
we'll be reading ten times higher than it did with the original two. And it was the same as this other instrument does with the young two minutes. So they're pretty close between the two. Go ahead and take that away and turn it off. Take the EM tube out. It's actually an EON, Eon OCD item number OCD D 101 Type A. And for some pretty detailed information, you can go to uh, Dr. Frame's site, ORAU.org, and he's got a, a section on there against about civil defense instruments. It's just got a 1168 manufacture date on it. Put our old 6993 tube back in there. Housing back on it. Turn it back on. We're going to the times 100 scale here. The click volume is substantially increased. We'll go up to about 10. Like I said, like I said, that's an ENI electronic 6B, and this is a Victorine 6A. That's something all the conversion is a tube and a sticker. And uh, so I think that's about it for this. Go to Times 100 here again. We've got a cheesy little rolled Radio Shack speaker as my speaker on that one. Shut that thing up. If they get it right on the, you see the radium painted uh, face back there, back in that, it, back inside the instrument, and that's where the source is. There's some here and here, but the vast majority is back in the back. Let's see, it reads about 10. Anyway, and these kits were just simple, like I think I said, it's just, uh, where's my little paper thing. Here it is. It's wrapped up. Sticker around them. Inside the instruction book. The instruction book showed you how to put the sticker on. Pretty much just says stick the tube in there and oh well, one more thing. Oh look at look at the difference of the check source. We'll check the uh Turn it back on and put that back in there. Box, and we'll go. Uh, this one has the e Eon tube in it, so we'll open that thing. That one's off. We'll check the same check source with both meters since they're kind of close. We'll see which one is. We'll check the. I think it's very little on the check source. Turn this stupid thing off. I think it's very little with the check source with that Eon tube in there. And I think depending on whether they hit, however you have it positioned, the cage, the metal cage in there might actually block some of it because the detector tube element is so small. I'm going to close that probe and turn that thing off. Then we'll put the ANI, turn the ANI back on, listen to the difference here. That turning bank is messing with some of that too. Is that a difference? In the normal 700 tube in this same check sort.
it's just beta so I'll turn that one off we'll go back to this since I had the, the turn and bank indicator sitting there same source you didn't get anything no it's off duh I guess it's a little less the turn and bank was get doing some of that no well, maybe it's about the same whatever did you see the difference Anyway, another pointless video.